I'm gonna show you one amazing library for uh, downloading files in Android. It's uh, basically all-in-one solution that uh, handles a work manager, notifications, a local database, and uh, many other features that uh, you don't have to implement on your own. Stay tuned! This uh, library itself is uh, called Catch. It's uh, fully built using a Kotlin programming language. And what's also important is that uh, it uh, guarantees that uh, your files are gonna be downloaded even if you close your application or destroy your activity. Because this library also persists uh, any file that has started downloading, which means you can pause, resume, cancel and even uh, retry downloading your files. It has a really simple and user-friendly API, which I'm gonna show you right now. First, you need to make sure to add a dependency. After that, we need to declare a couple permissions. Like post notifications permission, which is needed if you are using an API level 33 and higher. And also a foreground service, as well as a foreground service data sync just in case. You will only need to request a runtime permission for this first one, post notifications. Nevertheless, within the main activity, I'm just gonna quickly add that permission check so that we can uh, request it as soon as the application launch. Next, after that, we need to initialize the catch object. So there is a set notification config function that allows us to enable and uh, customize how a notification should look like. Notification will uh, automatically appear after we start a download. And it offers uh, lots of information by default, but you can modify that as well. And the second function is called a set download config, which allows us to customize a connection timeout as well as a read timeout. By default, those uh, values are uh, set to 10 seconds, but we can customize them easily. Finally, call a build function and we are good to go. This uh, catch object uh, does represent a singleton, which means you don't have to worry about uh, multiple instances. Now, in this uh, main composable screen, I have already created uh, all the UI components for this demo project, as well as uh, three constants. The first one, a file tag, will allow us to set the unique identifier for the file that we are trying to download so that we can use that uh, tag later to perform operations like uh, pause, resume, cancel and others. This is also important when you are downloading multiple files and performing a parallel download, because it uh, makes it easier to manage this uh, whole process. The second constant uh, is the name of the file that uh, will be displayed in our UI, as well as notification dialog, but also as the actual name of the file that we are going to save on our file system. And the third one is the file link of the file that we are trying to download. This library also supports uh, various uh, file extensions like uh, videos, uh, images, PDFs, uh, APK files and others. Now, first I'm gonna quickly pass the catch object to our main composable screen. Then I will declare uh, three properties that uh, we will observe and update when the download starts. One more additional property, which uh, will indicate when to start and when to stop collecting the data. After that, within the launched effect block, we're gonna observe the download process that uh, has the same tag that we have already defined. Now, the process value will be displayed on the right side of the file name. We're gonna use this value to calculate the percentage for the linear progress indicator as well. Below the progress indicator, we are also using the progress value along with the total size of the file in bytes to convert it into a megabytes. And then we are also converting bytes to a megabytes and getting only the first two decimals from the result. So here is the formula that uh, I'm using uh, for the calculation. It's pretty straightforward. But I will also leave a link to this uh, project uh, down in the video description. So that you can check it out if you want. So let's proceed next. So when we click the download button, we want to set uh, is collecting to true, then call download function and pass those uh, constants as well. For the file path, I have passed uh, here a downloads directory, but you can choose uh, any file path of your choice. 
Finally, for a pausing, resuming, cancelling, retrying, we can call a corresponding functions and uh, pass the same file tag. Only the logic for a delete button will be slightly different. We are calling here a clear database function that deletes the file from the storage, but also clears the database information about this same file. Because, as I already mentioned at the beginning of this video, this library keeps all file information in the local database, so that it can perform various operations like a pause, resume, retry, and so on. After we delete this file, we are resetting those properties after a slight delay, just to avoid some UI flickering. Lastly, we're gonna launch this application and test it out. First, as you can see, we are prompted to allow a notification permission. After we allow it, then we can try clicking the download button. And immediately after that, you will notice that the UI will start updating with the download progress. Also, a notification will appear where we can see buttons to pause and cancel. We can execute those actions from either notification or our application UI. After we resume the download and it successfully completes, we will see that file appearing in our file system. Great! So, let's now open up our application again and try deleting that file. You will notice that the UI will reset and the file will actually be deleted. It works perfectly, really. And that's pretty much it. So this is one amazing library, so don't forget to leave a star on this uh, GitHub repository. By the way, let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below, and don't forget to leave a like to this video, but only if you find it helpful. Thank you for watching.